Hartford Healthcare is shedding light on two new COVID subvariants making their way around Stratus and Nimbus. Joining us today is Ulysses Wu. He is the doctor and chief epidemiologist of infectious disease at Hartford Healthcare. First of all, doctor, good morning to you. We were just chatting in commercial break when I heard these two subvariants and their names. I know that they are clouds or types of clouds because of storm teammate here. And we often talk about the different types of clouds when we see them. This is very interesting. What should we know though about the COVID subvariants? Stratus and Nimbus. So Stratus and Nimbus, apparently they've given them those names because they want to make it much more accessible. The Greek lettering actually is the WHO and that's still in place, but was more confusing. And then when you had the actual designation of like BA286, that was very confusing. So Stratus and Nimbus, much more accessible. Not that we needed to make COVID more accessible. Uh, I know. And, so the, the key about these variants is that they're not much different from the previous variants. It's just that they are given these fancier names. The symptoms are really almost exactly the same. They're just new variants and variants have been happening since uh, 2020, the beginning of 2020. You know, I think with Nimbus, they've talked about it as uh, the, the razor blade or something like that. And uh, the Stratus is the horse voice variant or uh, I call it the smokers variant or the Demi Moore voice variant or whatever it may be, but the symptoms are really the same. And so I don't want people to get confused that, oh, they're different symptoms, they're more dangerous. Uh, they're just the variant that's out there and you should look for really a lot of the similar symptoms. And symptoms are the same. Let's talk about transmission. Is that the same as well? Well, with each variant, there is transmissibility that it tries to gain an evolutionary advantage. And so there is probably going to be an increase in transmission, maybe not so much with Nimbus, but as Stratus takes off, we're, we've always had a little bit of a, well, we've actually had big summer surges and we may be, in due, we may be due for a little summer surge and that may be Stratus induced because it's usually later in the summer. So that may be coming. So increased transmissibility is certainly a possibility. And we talked about this the last time we chatted and people have just become a little lax when it comes to testing. Should you test positive though, remind us what should we do? Yeah, you should, first of all, definitely try not to get anybody else sick. So you should isolate. It is very transmissible. And even though most people recover, you may trans transmit it to somebody, say you're uh, an elderly caregiver or a cancer caregiver or an infant, you may give it to uh, a baby and you they may suffer worse consequences. So isolate yourself, mask up, and within five days, this is the reason we do want to test, you may be able to be eligible for treatment as well. And so uh, if you get treated early, you may decrease your chances for long COVID, which is a real thing. Yes, it is. And what are some of the best ways, I guess, to prevent us getting these subvariants or COVID in general? Yeah, COVID in general, the subvariants will be the same, but if you are sick, try not to get other people sick. If you're going into an area where people are just coughing, hacking, sneezing, you may want to either remove yourself, you may want to ask them to put on a mask. I can't imagine how that's going to go over. Or you may want to put on a mask yourself. Getting vaccinated is also uh, very helpful. Washing your hands, uh, common sense type stuff. Absolutely. All good reminders, though. Thank you again for your time. Always nice chatting with you. Thank you for having me again. Of course. And good morning, Connecticut at 9. We'll be right back.